hiked into a location I haven't been into, I want to say, uh, probably been a couple months, and <laughs> we've had a lot of growth here, so I've got quite a bit of area to clean out before I can get the camp set up. Uh, i tell you what, let me grab the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Wow, quite the hike in, but on the plus side, nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to be able to find me today if they wanted to. So let me grab the camera real quick and show you what I'm talking about. If you kind of take a look, look at all that. That is all overgrown. Here is the trail, which uh, wasn't very pleasant. So I've got quite a bit of brush to clear out before I can get the tent set up. Oops, sorry about that. But the last time I hear this was all cleared out. And somewhere over there is my fire pit. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear that much brush to get to it. So uh I'm gonna get started on that, get the tent set up, and then I've got a couple fun little projects. I got a new piece of gear I want to share with you. And oh, a new meal we're going to be trying out. Now, I was going to make a campfire, but I'm thinking uh, no water access and I can't get to my fi or fire ring. I think we're going to have to use the stove for this one. So, I'm going to get busy. about to be invaded. Huh, interesting. Okay, I've got uh, enough area to clean out, and I think I'm going to go ahead and set up camp right over there and fill the tent up real fast. Since I am uh, setting up in the sand today, I'm using a different type of uh, tent stake, and these are made by Coleman. MSR makes them, Kelty makes them, but Basically aluminum stake, it's a lot more stout than the pack stakes I normally use. And that way, the tent don't come undone in the night, get pulled out of the sand while I'm sleeping and have a rude awakening. The sleep system I'm gonna be using for tonight, I'm gonna be using the good old thermal rest and my favorite sleeping bag of all, the fleece sleeping bag. Believe it or not, this thing really keeps you pretty darn warm. And as you can tell, yep, we're using the Tech Sport two-man camo pump tip for this activity. It's actually a really decent can, uh, tent for this type of setup, since I'm solo in it. Really don't need, need much room. And, uh, I think it's going to be pretty hot outside tonight. It's already up to about 90. Probably going to be sleeping on top of the fleece sleeping bag. 
but I am sleeping on sand and believe it or not, it's quite comfortable. I'll go ahead and seal the tent up. Make sure no bugs sneak in with me before the night and uh, gives me a very unpleasant surprise. All right, let's find out what we're having for lunch. Come on up here, let's take a look. We're going to be having Ah, there you are. I'm going to try another uh, Backpatcher Backpackers Pantry meal. And this is compound rice with chicken. So uh, I've never had it before. And I'm kind of excited to try it out because I like the last one I had. It was actually quite tasty. And, ooh, I actually found where the protein is on these. It's right here at the bottom. The mountain house, they list them on the front. You kind of have to hunt for it on the backpacker's pantry. And this one has got 24 grams of protein, so that should be quite tasty. So I'm thinking uh, right there would be a great place to get my stove set up and all my gear ready so we can go ahead and start cooking. Well, I guess I better be starting my prep work. For this activity, we're going to be using Cool Max stove and Tech Sport stainless steel pot. And we're going to need some water. I think I'll use this one. And yeah, it's going to be hot today, so I'm going to be consuming a lot of water. And I did bring a lot of extra with me, so that's a lot of weight to carry in, trust me. All right, let's get set up. I did condense the stove down quite a bit. I'm using the uh, jet boil fuel cell, which I have never used before. So it ought to be kind of interesting. And the thing I'm really worried about is stability. Will the pot actually flip over? Because there's not much of a base on this. So I think what I'm going to do is find a uh, decent little spot in the sand to put it. Make sure we don't have any leaks and bury it just a little bit that way we don't have any accidents I think actually that's gonna be pretty darn good that's not bad at all all right let's see how much water we're gonna need wow that's quite a bit of water let's see why I'm hoping this is for two servings. Okay, that's why. It is uh, for two servings per person. We're going to need a cup and a fourth of water, which is, uh, hang on, let me calculate. 540 milliliters, is that right? You might correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's it. So, geez, that's going to be quite a bit of water. All right, let's go ahead and get this set up because I'm pretty freaking hungry for lunch. I love these little towels. They come in so handy. All right, 500 milliliters. And a little bit more. That's a little overkill. I think it'll do the job. Yeah, it's a little unstable like I thought it was going to be. Going to have to be a little bit careful. Must be a different fuel blend than what I'm used to. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not going to take long at all for this water to come up to a boil. Uh, 
Let's see what else we got going on. Let's take a look at the nutrients and kind of start prepping this real fast. Get the sucker open. We have seven grams of fat, saturated fat, one gram, trans fat, zero, cholesterol, 30, sodium, 1,070. Now, some of you are thinking, man, that's a lot of salt. Now, I'm going to tell you what. When you sweat and you see all that white rings in your shirt, that's actually your electrolytes leaving your body, which actually is salt. So, believe it or not, high salt count out in the field is not that big a deal. Yeah, let's see. Carbs, 57. Oh, that's going to be quite a bit of energy. Sugar's 10. And, of course, I said the protein is uh, 24 grams. Now what the protein does, it slows the release of the carbs. That way the energy in your body lasts a lot longer than you would think it would. So I'm thinking you're probably going to get a good four to five hours of energy out of this one meal if you eat the whole thing. So let's take a look inside and see what we have. Okay, we've got another little package in there. Looks like we've got some nuts and it appears to be uh, some seasoning. But don't look bad. All right, we bad, probably should read the instructions here real quick. Peanut butter. I guess that's what you call the nuts is peanut butter. <laughs> Remove packs of uh, peanuts, crushed red peppers. You add the crushed red peppers to taste. It's, oh, it's going to take 13 minutes to rehydrate. That's going to take a little while. Hmm. It would appear we're already up to a roaring boil. Take a little look in there. Just... Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to do some research, and maybe you can help me out, but I think the jet boil fuel cell has a different concentration of gas in it because it is burning freaking hotter than heck. Come on, go ahead and shut that off. Because it's definitely burning a lot hotter than the Coleman Max is. Mm. Nothing like a little water. Okay. Hopefully not burning myself. Or my tarp. Yeah. As usual, it's hot. Okay, let's pour that in and start the rehydration process. Go ahead and stir it up a little bit. Doesn't look like it's hydrating too good. Maybe I didn't maybe I put too much water in there. You might have to dump a little water out in a little bit. It's starting to thicken up a little bit, but not much. Okay, 13 minutes on the lucky timer. We're going to seal this up. Maybe. Yeah, I've got the cell phone back here somewhere. And it still works, thank God. It uh, took a good fall earlier. All right, timer has started. Okay, now for the fun part. I bought a new play toy with this I just recently picked up. I did a lot of research before I bought this. So uh, let's get it out, get it set up, and just do a little testing of it. Come over here to the pack and I'll show you what I picked up. Uh, finally broke down. I picked up a Globe Zero solar char uh, charging system. This has been the update, or what they call the upgrade. It's supposed to actually charge uh, iPads. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll talk a little bit about, more about that after I get it set up and actually working. But uh, this is the update, and then this is the Adventure Pack. This is the uh, Globe Zero uh, something 10. What was that? 10 Adventure Pack with the Nobe. Seven uh, solar panel on it, which is seven. The solar panel is actually seven watts. So I need to set up 
somewhere where we can actually get some good sunlight. And I think I'm going to end up needing my trusty hiking stick for this. And I think, yep, we do. Some poly cord for this activity. Get us a little uh, station set up and get the solar panel going. And I see two nice little trees over here I think we can actually do something with. What the heck's going on here? Oh, <laughs> I'm about to cut up my ropes for my emergency shelter. That's all right. That's what's going on. So, let's buzz over here and get this set up. I really like how this tree is looking. I think what I'm going to do is use... Yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. I think that's going to be pretty darn sturdy for what I need. And we'll attach the, pa or the panel here and here. That way, we'll hang off the tree because the sun's coming down this way and we can kind of move it out a little bit. Okay, so I'm kind of winging this as you can tell, but yeah, what the heck. Let's uh, make a little couple loops here with my now I really don't want to cut this unless I absolutely have to because we do use this for my emergency shelter <laughs> and I actually finally got him down to the size I like for a change so we're gonna put one there and I think I'll put one here and we are kind of working on the next to a cliff so if anything falls out <laughs> well you kind of know what happens from there on okay let's go get it hook it up see what happens okay i'm going to take the contents out of it and we'll talk a little bit more after lunch and what exactly all comes with it but uh, it's got the battery pack, all the nice little cables that come with it. We're going to pull that out just in case I drop it over the edge, which that would be just darn funny. Plug it up. Now, on the older models, if you look back here, they put the uh, solar charger units. They put it on the front of the panel section right here, which caused a problem of overheating. So the, the, the designers actually now they put it on the back that way it keeps it just a little bit more on the cooler side and that way we don't have any accidents. So I got this, let's grab a couple beaners, a pair of beaners here and attempt to hook it up and see what happens. Let's hook one here. Get over there. I'm gonna need a stick or something to get that more in the sunlight. Battery bank will fit there. Let me go grab the battery bank. I'll be right back. And on the back of the uh, the battery pack, or the Globo Zillow, uh, Globo, <laughs> Globe Zero, <laughs> I can't talk because it's lunchtime, a little hungry. They put a nice little hanging hook on there. That way you can hang it to stuff or off your pack or whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to tighten this down a little bit so we don't have any misfortunes. Okay, here's the feed. I don't know what that was. And we're starting to charge. Very nice, very nice. And we need a stick. So I think I'm going to... Oh, this one will work. Right back, i got to go get the machete. Perfect. And 
here. Let's do... Okay, hang on. Still, uh... <laughs> oh, it looks like our food's ready. Perfecting this. That's not bad. Let's see how we're doing. Yep, it's charging. Let's go see how the food is. I'm freaking hungry. Okay. Time's up. Been 13 minutes. Let's take a look inside and see what we have. And yes, it's warm as hell. Oh, it's not bad. Probably could give it a couple more minutes, but I think we're good. Whoa, whoa. It's kind of really hot. So. No, I'm going to put the, the uh, peanuts in there and the peppers. Yes. Let's see how that tastes. I'm going for it. And peanuts all over the place. Uh oh, get back here. And of course, I like spicy food, and I'm sure you guys do too. So let's load that sucker up full of peppers. Still, I think we got a little bit too much water in it. Let's get a quick look in there. Not bad. Rice, carrots. Don't see very many big lumps of chicken now. Hmm. The peanut got away. Well, now it's time for the important part. What does it taste like? Still a little warm. Very damn hot. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> That's much better. Not bad though. I think I'm going to let it sit just a little bit longer and let the peanuts kind of mix into the rice and carrots and chicken, which I don't see. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it about a 7 because I really don't see much in the way of chicken. So I'm going to enjoy my meal. And then we're going to take a look at our next project, the uh, Globe Zero Solar Panel Charging System. So, give me some food. Mm. I'm going to get this, some of this gear stowed away so I don't have crap spread out, spread out all over the place. And let's go check and see how our solar panel's doing. Now, a little bit down the road, I'm going to do a much better review on it. I'm just going to play with it here today and see how it actually works. That way I can uh, kind of talk a little bit more about it when I have more knowledge of how it works in the field, which is kind of really important. So we're just kind of doing a sneak, pre sneak peek today on it. Trash bucket. That's uh, one of the main reasons I carry my bucket with me. I can carry all my trash out. Or if I have to get some water from the river or carry in some firewood, just throw that in the bucket. And there was something big in the tree over there. Not sure what that was. Okay. 
let's go play with the solar panel. Now it comes with a whole bunch of accessories. It comes with a 12 volt charger, a USB N charger, and of course the battery pack which you've seen. But the main concern is where the hell I put all the cables. Ah, there we go. Is first we're going to see will it charge a cell phone in the field? And my cell phone's pretty much charged, but we can tell right away and see how it's going to do. Let's go plug it up. Now, I plugged the battery pack in and it was almost dead. Oh, I want to say when we started boiling the water, and that's been what about, see, I've been screwing around for about an hour and a half, two hours. And Yes, the battery bank is definitely full, but the main thing is, let's see if it'll actually charge a cell phone, like they say. Now, I'm not in full sunlight anymore, because the sun keeps moving on me, and I'll have to move it from here to over there to get better light a little bit later on, but just for demonstration purposes, let's plug the cell phone in and see what happens. And, like I said, we'll get a little closer look at it a little bit later on. I'm just kind of playing with it today. I lost my stick. Give me a bag of beer. Yep. Now the way to tell the cell phone is charging is a little red light on the top will come on. Wait a minute. Let's see if I get the sand out of there. Let's see. It's charging. Not bad at all. But, for the very most important thing of all, I want to make sure to see if it will actually charge my camcorder. Because that's the most important thing to me, not really the cell phone. What the hell is that? I'm under bug attack. Okay. A pairs, a whole bunch of dragonflies have decided to come out of nowhere. And they're all over them trees there. Okay, so let me grab the camcorder and I'm going to pull it over here. And let's plug it in and see what happens. I bet you're wondering how the hell I was going to do that with only one camera. Cell phone. Okay, let's take a look. You can't see it. But if you can, I don't know if you can or not, but if you can see the little light up there, and we're not in direct sunlight, but there it is every once in a while, it'll blink. It is actually charging my camera. Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's plug that. And plug it in to the battery bank and see how it does because it's got a little output right there and see if it'll charge the camera hang on a second and turn the battery bank on yeah, green light is on let's see I'll be darned. You can barely see it in sunlight. Huh. The little booger is charging my camera. Well, I'm to say, I'm pretty darn impressed with it so far. Uh, I'm going to play with it today and uh, tomorrow morning and see how it goes. Oh, got one more piece of gear I want to show you. And then we'll end the video because I know it ran a little long. So come over here. It was actually given to me by a friend of mine to check this out and see what I thought of it. It's the Bushnell Backtrack, and this is the uh, three-point GPS system. So I'm going to be playing with it today and kind of take a look at that, seeing what I think of it. And, of course, we'll be doing something about that a little bit on down the road, too, when I know more about it. So I really don't like to talk about a uh, product and... Uh, 
unless I've used it for a while, that way I can give you the correct information. Well, I think the rest of the day is I'm going to pack some of this mess up and uh, do some scouting, playing around a little bit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I uh, appreciate it. Comments are more than welcome. If I miss something or you need some more information, maybe I can help you out with, feel free to leave a comment. And like always, thanks for watching.